Hey guys, Siobhan here from PDE. Today I'm going to run you through the setup procedure for the Top Don Arty Diag 900BT and then I'm going to plug it into a vehicle and show you how it all works. I've just opened this one straight out of the box. Now this one includes a user manual and a quick start guide. It also includes a charger with an Australian wall plug. The tool will prompt us what to do for the setup procedure, but I'll run you through it. So the first thing we need to select is our language. Then the second thing we need to do is connect to our Wi-Fi. You can also hotspot off your phone if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection handy. So now I'm connected to our shop Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go through and select our region, which is Brisbane, Australia. Next, we just need to agree to the terms and conditions, and then it's going to ask us for our email address. Now it needs to be an email address that you do have access to because it is going to email you a verification code, which we need to enter into the tool. So once you've put your email address in, then we're going to hit get verification code and that will email you a verification code. It could end up in your spam or junk folder. So just double check there if you can't find it. The code should come through in a matter of minutes. So I've received mine. I'm going to enter it in and then I'm going to hit login. Once we're successfully logged in, the tool's going to give you a little bit of a demo on how it works and how to go backwards. So when we pull the screen down, we can access our settings. Um, so it's wanting us to do a few operating system updates first before we can go any further. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those quickly before we do the rest of the updates. Now, when you're doing your operating system updates, the tool will reboot just as it has now in the video. Now the operating system updates are done. We're going to jump into the updates folder, which is directly in the middle of the screen here. Now we're going to have quite a few to do. See on the left hand side, upgradable software 107. So I'm going to hit update all and that's going to go through and do a bulk update. Now this can take a few hours depending on your Wi-Fi speed. While the machine's updating, I'm gonna run you through some key features. So the Top Don Idea Diag 900 BT, our version comes with three years of free software updates. The machine's fully bi-directional. It can do ECU coding and it comes with 28 maintenance functions. And we can also offer our technical remote support as these tools do have inbuilt team viewer, which I will demonstrate to you shortly. So I've finally completed all the updates. As we can see here that there's no outstanding software updates to do. So I'm going to go into the tools maintenance functions, which comes under services here. So these are all the different maintenance functions that are available on this tool. Please bear in mind that they are make and model dependent. I will just show you some more features on the tool. So if we jump here into repair info, we've got OBD fault code library, coverage list, video and learning. So coverage list is a really handy function. If you're not sure if the tool is going to do a job on a vehicle, you can actually come in here and check. So first thing we need to do is obviously select passenger vehicle, um, come down and find a brand. So I'm just going to pick Chrysler for an example here. From here, we need to select the vehicle model and year. Now we don't have to select the system, we can just go search and view all, but I'm just going to select ABS to narrow it down. So this will bring up a full list of everything that can be done in the ABS module here. Now, if you ever need any technical support with the tool and we need to remotely log on, I'm gonna show you where to find that. So jump into settings, come all the way down to remote diagnosis. Now, as long as you're connected to the internet, this is going to generate a nine digit ID. There we go. And you just read that out to us. We put that in our computer and then we are logged onto your tool. Now I'll just show you another trick in case you didn't read the quick start guide. So if you're looking for your VCI, which plugs into the car, it's right here. And that just lives in there. You push it and it will eject out. So now we're going to plug this one into our Hilux and show you what it looks like in action. First step is always VCI into the OBD port. We will get a green light showing that we have power. So back to the tablet, I'm going to hit diagnostics and do an auto search, which is the same thing as an auto VIN. So please bear in mind this function does not work on every vehicle, but it should work on the majority of newer vehicles. 
once the tool has recognized the vehicle, it's going to ask us a few more questions specific to this particular vehicle. So with this one, it wants to know what year it was manufactured, with or without smart key or radar crews, etc. Hit OK to confirm. Once we are into the vehicle's menu, I always like to do a health report first as this will run through every control module and bring up if we have any faults and just give you a good overview of what's happening with the vehicle. So once the scan is complete, any control modules that have faults in them will appear up the top like this with a red exclamation mark. So I've got two fault codes here, one in the headlight auto leveling system and one in the navigation system. So I'm gonna go into the auto leveling system first. Now, I already know that my headlight leveling sensor is actually broken, so I'm going to go straight into special functions. And as we can see here, it does actually give us the option to go through and do the height sensor initialization, which is quite a high end function for, you know, a cheaper tool. All right, I'm now going to go into the engine control module and just show you guys what kind of actuation tests are available in the engine control module. Again, this is specific to my vehicle, so your vehicle may look a little bit different in here, but these are all the actuation tests that we can do on this car. I'm now gonna go back and go into special functions. So these are all the special functions that are available for this vehicle. Um, so we can do DPF burn, injector programming, DPF value clear, service resets, and all sorts in here. Now from here, I'm gonna go into customize settings, which can actually be found on the main menu in the tool. You don't have to go all the way into the ECU to find it. From here, you can do things like customize your seatbelt warning to not go off, set your door locks to lock when you start driving. You can do all of that kind of stuff from this menu. Now, if you do want to find out more about the Top Don RD Diag 900BT, head over to our website.